Now I can't believe that I got these golf clubs from Facebook Marketplace. I didn't even know this brand did golf clubs. But I'm excited, so let's do it, and let's do it now. Hi everyone, James Robinson here guys. First things first, first things first, I would like to warmly, I'll not point that at you. First things first, I'd like to warmly welcome you all to the channel. I'd like to welcome you back to the channel if you're not new to the channel, but guys, if you are new to the channel, please make sure you do consider smashing that subscribe button below. Leave us a like if you enjoy this video and uh, make sure you do get in those comments below. What have, what have I bought here? So generally, uh, I do love an unboxing. I don't know, the guy who sent these, um, I'm not entirely sure what this is, but it is well packaged, so we'll go we'll go with it. It's not a box as per se, and uh, I feel like I'm going to make a mess here, so I'm just going to get these out quickly. So generally, guys, we've all heard of Ferraris, Porsches, Aston Martins, Bentleys, um, and generally that wouldn't make you think about golf clubs till now. So we're going to get out and play with these and uh, ooh, ooh, what a horrible noise that is. There we go. Right. So in here we have, you might have already guessed it from what I just told you. I tell you, he's done a really good job of packing these. So I will let him off for not putting them in a box. We have, here's one. We have Aston Martin golf clubs. Uh, now these look awesome. I saw them on the Facebook marketplace. I actually got a DM from a follower who said, you've got to get these, you've got to do a video on them. So um, we did. They're all blades and it's about two degrees today. So we thought we'd go and play golf with them. Fun. Yeah, this one, uh, this one might be um, extra fun, we could say. There you got there, my mate. Some irons, mate, for a video. I thought that. <laughs> I've seen a pair of Bentleys before, I've never seen Aston Martin. Look all right, don't they? How much do you think? Aston Martin with that brand. 1,500? 2.70 off Facebook, brand new. Wow. Unreal, isn't it? They look good, don't they? Oh. Right. So, we've made a bit of a mess. We'll tidy this up in a fashion. People, are, you see, it's drawn attention already and we haven't even gone out and played yet. Um, let's, uh, let's tidy ourselves up. Now, I already kind of think it's not not the best day. I already kind of think it's not the best day. We've got a wedge as well. 52 degree black wedge, check that out. So as I've just said there, 270 pounds-ish. I think a bit more with postage for these. I've had enough with that, that's going in there. And I think that represents pretty good value. I'm really not looking forward to hitting that, but I think it's about time we took those out there. So guys, as you all know, it's really, really important to me that you are a part of these videos and that you do get in the comments below. Strange video today, get in the comments below. Have I overpaid for these? I know nothing about them. I saw them on a Facebook marketplace. As I said earlier, I got DM'd by a follower and he said, you've got to get these, you've got to do a video on them. So I have, we've paid about 290 all in all. And I mean, looking at them, I'm gonna to have to stop and look at them again because, because even when it comes down to not so much playing with them, but just looking at them, I mean, just look at, that three iron for example how good does that look and we've even got proper 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 premium grips with aston martin on there as well these are leather grips now i am a car guy as you all know if you watch my videos a lot i do relate golf clubs to cars quite a lot in this video it's quite easy to relate golf clubs to a car because they are called aston martin s now i don't think that necessarily means that a premium golf club i've looked on the internet high and low i can't find them being sold very expensively unless 
they might sell them you from an Aston Martin garage at a really high price just because you've bought a really expensive car. Potentially, I don't really know. Get in the comments below as well if anyone has anything like this. Do you have Bentley clubs? Do you have Aston Martin clubs? What clubs do you have? Now it's time to uh, see if it is money well spent or not. Because we're getting out here on the old links. So we are very much in the realms of winter golf at the moment. I'm not sure entirely how far these clubs will go. I haven't checked the lofts on them. I probably should have done. The first hole, par three, 142 yards. And I'm just gonna put it out there. My hands are absolutely freezing. So we've brought out a full set of bladed irons, three to pitching wedge. We're gonna play irons only. Let's see what we can score. Stick along for the ride. We've got a shot tracer on for you as well, and it's just starting to rain. Perfect. Wonderful. And 142. Flags at the back. I'm just going to go an eight iron, guys. You'll see that these are all still... Right, we're not teeing up because that's really doing my head in. The grips feel unbelievably nice and tacky. They're like a kangaroo leather, I think, with a nice seam down the back. They won't last very long. One thing I'm worried about is if these are worth some money and I'm kind of devaluing them by taking all of these off. Um, I mean, it wouldn't worry me too much, but as irons, how good do they look? If Titleist brought these out or TaylorMade or anyone else, I think we'd be quite happy with the old aesthetics of them, wouldn't we? Right, 8 iron, 142 yards. How does it look down at the ball? Looks pretty lofted and they feel incredibly light which is worrying. We have, well, we'll get to the shafts in a second. I've had a nightmare basically, but eight iron, no practice swing, freezing cold. That felt horrendous and it's probably bunker, is it? Go. Yeah, terrible. Um, didn't feel, I'm gonna go again. Didn't feel, certainly didn't feel buttery forge like soft. That was better. Is it up there? Second one's up there, that was better. They do look awesome. I'm just gonna keep saying that through this video, I think, and we'll try and get rid of most of that, because that's, I've had enough of this as well. So I guess this video does come down to, kind of not be careful what you buy on Facebook. I saw these, fancied them, didn't do too much research on them which potentially I should have done. They have got regular shafts in them, which I didn't realise. That's my fault. I hold my hands up. Uh, the Pro Force. I'll tell you when we get to the ball, because it's too cold to take my uh, hand out of my pocket there. But yeah, Pro Force regular shaft, not ideal. The one thing I thought when I picked up the parcel is, wow, this is light. I thought we might be a few clubs short, and we're not. They just feel like light clubs, and I felt that on the tee as well. So we're going to go with the first ball, unfortunately. We keep all the shots in on this channel. So we've got the first one here. It actually wasn't good enough to reach the bunker, hence why I'm not playing blades anymore. And the second one was okay. Both short, and I guess this just gives us a chance to use the... Uh, see, this is different. This has got... This has actually got a Project X... The wedge has got a Project X 5.5 in there. We have what looks like a multi-compound grip, but it's not. In fact, this is the cheapest thing I've ever held in my life. This is horrendous. Um, yeah, that's not great, and that's made by whoever they are. Uh, length, it's, it's got all the kind of Aston Martin, as you would expect, like it's got all the kind of bells and whistles on it for Aston Martin, which is great. And looking down at it, this black face on the lob wedge does look lovely. A nice grip on there. Well, that could be good. Go, go, go. Oh, it's just spun a bit. Spun quite nicely, actually. I bet this black finish won't last very long, though. You can go back in there. Yeah, nice grip on that wedge, it might be okay actually. It's amazing how the grips on the irons feel premium as premium can possibly premiumly feel, if that even makes sense, and the grip on the wedge feels potentially the worst grip I've ever had in my life. Right, we have that for par. Hmm. We ain't got Aston Martin putter either, so it's the old Scotty to the rescue. Okay, first time back at Royal Huddersfield since we've been to Dubai. I'm sure the greens are good, not quite as quick for a par with the Aston Martins. I mean, I do feel like I shouldn't have needed to hit seven off that tee at 142. Certainly not. Oh, 
The putter always equalises, doesn't it? Get in! That's for the guy who said that my putting isn't my strong point in the comments. If you're watching, ha ha! Ha! Putting is a strong point. And even if it's not, I believe it is, because that's what Jack Nicholas did, and I mean, he was good at putting anyway, but anyway. So one hole in, that's a par. Uh, quite an ugly par, but a par nevertheless. There are no pictures on the scorecard, but if there were pictures on a scorecard, you can imagine what I'm reaching around for here now. They look so good, don't they? I was really disappointed with how it felt, actually, off that tee. Um, I hope it was me. I hope it, I hope it wasn't the club. I hope it was because we were off a winter mat. Maybe it was that. Time for the three iron. And I haven't warmed up either, like the hands haven't warmed up. Mint. Right, 450 yard hole. The rain's just starting to come down. We'll put shot tracer on actually for you. So you can laugh at it and we'll go with you. I mean, it does just, look at that. Wow. I mean, I almost feel like I'm not gonna do this justice now. Um, do I tee it high? Do I play a little stinger? I'm going to have to show you this looking down at the ball, because whoever designed these, I mean, Aston Martin do make pretty good looking cars, don't they? And, I mean, to look at... Hang it, got me. <laughs> I was and to look at them down at the ball, just looks, I mean, the top line even looks great, doesn't it? So let's try not to fat the hell out of it and actually strike one. This grip feels so good. I mean, it wasn't bad, I can't see it. Shot trace will give you a better idea than me. I think it's okay, actually, that. I enjoyed that. Definitely sounded and felt better than the a time on the previous hole. Wish I'd got stiff shafts. And I guess that is the biggest lesson for anyone who is buying things off Facebook. Don't jump at it. I shouldn't really have bought these just because of the shaft. The shafts are totally wrong. They're too light, they're too flexible. To be honest, I don't really know who's gonna want this sleek bladed head with a regular light shaft in them. Not unless it's like a proper golf purist who just kind of wants to go out and play. Maybe that's what they're for. Maybe I've just had an absolute nightmare, potentially. So I've been walking down here and I kind of expected to see it, kind of expected to see it before we did. I mean, that's done, um, that's done really well for a three iron, especially into the wind in winter. We've got, don't get me wrong, we've got a long way in. We'll, uh, we'll discuss that now, we've got, We've got 220, so we, we've, we've, we've covered half of it. We'll go three iron again, yeah? For the fans, for people who want to see my hands hurt and buzz. Could have almost just been a kind of one club challenge this, couldn't it? But um, I'll tell you how good it looks, but I've already bored you with that. Let's see if we can get down there. Thinking about it, this wasn't a great tee shot, but That was Healy, how's that doing? A little bit right. It's another Miss Green. Um, that's, I mean, it's not the worst strike you'll ever see, but it's certainly not the best. Irons look good though, don't they? Hopefully that's the last time you'll go back in there. So guys, if you do want to see more content around these clubs, make sure you do get in the comments and let me know. Do you want to see them on the launch monitor? Do you want to see how far they go? Do you want to see what they compare to? I'm assuming maybe you don't because I'd never seen them before. Maybe you've never seen them before. Maybe you'd just maybe want to see. I, t I honestly do not know. I don't know where I'm going with that. But give us a like as well if you want to see that kind of video. Uh, and we'll crack on with it for you. Maybe we'll do a giveaway in that video as well. So if you do want them, there we go. Because they're no good for me. Not really. I can't think of anyone they would be good for. But maybe you. Comment below if they'd be good for you. So I am really starting to think but maybe these irons aren't for me. Maybe it's the lack of warm-up, maybe it's, maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm just in awe of how good they look. Um, the good news for you guys is we get to see Black Beauty again. Um, the bad news is I've got to hold this again. I can't tell you how cheap and nasty this grip uh, feels, but hopefully we can stick it fairly close again, roll in a putt, make par, move on, birdie the next couple, and then it's been a great video, hasn't it? Something like that, right, about 30 yards. Be good. Can't play any better than that. Sit, 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 sit. Downhill putt, which isn't ideal, but the wedge, for all intensive purposes aside from the grip, 
plays really nicely actually maybe it's because maybe it's because we're using this number here instead of the old 60 hope chris isn't watching really hope chris isn't watching i've just seen actually there's numbers on the face isn't there here is that loft no it must be grams that's interesting it makes you feel like they almost kind of know what they're doing when they've made them sort of but really 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 enjoyed that pitch is that circle i feel like i can't really give them myself in the circle we'll leave you here and take the putter in fact you know what it's an iron video we'll put with the three iron why not oh, I re i'm regretting that already i'm regretting it once i need the putting practice two because it's about seven well six foot well five foot it's about five foot left to right what an idiot anyway we are where we are we're here three iron looks so good How's that for a par? See, now I don't regret it. Now I feel like, yes, yes. Side note for anyone who cares, the grips are actually premium leather, as you can see there. So grip master genuine leather. Just gonna walk back to the bag like this because they just look so good, don't they? Right guys, mega busy down there. So we've kind of skipped on a little bit. We're gonna see just what these Aston Martin blade irons are like for an uphill pitch into the wind. For about 130 yards, we've got an eight iron. I'm going to try and flight it down. And for me, this is exactly why you would buy bladed irons. Maybe not Aston Martin ones, but the ones the ones that just give you that workability. And uh, this shows you why how it's so windy because the shot trace has just fallen over. Right, I'm going to have to be quick. Don't fall. Do not fall. We've got a big month of filming. Oh, that's delightful. That is delightful. Oh, yes. Wonderful. I'm going to play that shot tracer over and over again for you because that was wonderful. That shot was almost worth the 200 and whatever pound anyway. Sort of. For a Yorkshireman. Yeah, not really. But it was nice. It was nice. I'll give it that. So the only thing left to do with these irons is make a birdie. We've got a really difficult par three coming up. It's going to play strong crosswind. My hands are again freezing. So if you're watching this somewhere warm, comment below and glow if you want, because I do quite enjoy that. Oh, that was a wonderful shot. Wonderful. I mean, anyone that plays bladed irons, you'll know that that kind of shot is the holy grail. Right, I'm not going to waste your time putting it, so we'll have that up. Aha. Okay, we are on the mat again, the old winter mat. I'm going to put shot tracer on for you if the camera doesn't fall. We have not 272, 164. Playing 161, massive crosswind, downhill, freezing cold. I'm going to go, on the basis that the last par three became woefully short, I'm going to go six iron here and try and play that kind of little low one and we get to take another wrapper off which is always nice, even when your hands are freezing cold. Here we go. Oh, just stop that. Oh, look at that on the camera. Right, come on, Jimmy, hole in one. We've never had a hole in one on camera. The hood's up. We look antisocial, like a yob. It's the only time where the hood annoys you, when the wind's behind. Come on, stay there, you Right, the hood's gonna have to go up. Right. See, the loft on this six actually looks more like a seven. That's really annoying me now. Right, come on. Little fade in. Hole in one. Oh, it could be. It's on line. Hold your line! Sit! Oh, it's faded a bit. It's long. It's long. After all that. After that shout and everything. So, no hole in one in today's video. The wind's actually stopped now, which is fantastic. No bird either. Potentially. No, not potentially. No greens in reg either. So uh, I do hope you've enjoyed it. It's been an interesting one. We might well chip in for... They were probably not going to chip in for birdie here. It went long. Um, but guys, I really hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please make sure you do hit that subscribe button below. Leave us a like if you enjoyed it. Comment below what more do you want to see with these irons. Should I give them away eventually as well? They might make a good Christmas present for someone, eh? So, um, and did I overpay for them? I, I can't help but feel like maybe I did. But then the grip, I think the grips are probably worth anyway, anyway. Um, I'm going to leave you with this chip. I'll probably duff it. Bye.
feel it's plugged. Here you are. Oh, look how on line it was as well. Ah. Go on then. He has done as well. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, you'll probably duff it. Yeah, so uh, that's some Martin Golf Clubs. What a steal. One under par, someone say. Isn't it funny how one shot can change your entire round of golf? That's why we love it, I think. <laughs>